With the next update, we're going to be getting camp slots, so I reckon it's the perfect time to upload a new camp location video. If you do like the video after watching, please remember to hit that like button, but if you really want to help a guy out, maybe you'll hit that subscribe button too. Anyway, let's get into it. Right, so our first location is just behind the Riverside Manor, and this is where all the Mistress of Mystery Quest take place. My god, that was a mouthful. And before anyone says it in the comments, yes, that is exactly what she said. Now, you can't build in the manor itself, don't get too excited, but there is a nice little pond at the back of it which you can place your camp down in, and I've not seen this location covered much. Which is a surprise really, because most of the water locations in Fallout 76 look like some typhoid infested cesspools, whereas this looks like the kind of pond you'd see in a landscape garden, it's really nice actually. Now you can't place your camp module down too close to the manor house, but there is plenty of room to get it down slightly away from it. The only issue I found with this place is some of the enemies can be really annoying, as you'll see in this clip here now. Right, where are you? I know that you're knocking around here, but where are you? Jesus fucking Christ, where did that little bastard come from? Get away! Yeah, yeah, get away, get away, you... So, other than that little inconvenience, this is a really, really nice area. Like I say, I don't think there's a better water location in the entire game, when it comes to pond kind of areas anyway. I'd say it's a lot better than the White Springs at least. Let's move on. The next location is the scenic overlook and this is more of an area rather than one set location you can build along the entire length of this ridge well most of it at least anyway i actually did a collaboration build here not too long back i'll leave links to the channels of the people involved down in the description there is quite a few pre-built structures here as you can see there's a couple of cabins and they're not in bad condition to be fair to them the interiors are a little bit crap and filled with clutter as you can see in this clip here structurally they're still pretty damn sound there's also a couple of npcs and me being the friendly guy that i am got on with them absolutely brilliantly as always as you go further down the ridge you've also got this bombed out house here it's in nowhere near as good condition as the cabins but it's another structure you can build in and there's also quite a lot of open areas to build in too the land is a bit rocky but in some places there is some smoother terrain that you can put a camp down on We've also got some fantastic views here, as you can see, and the added bonus of a nuclear launch site too, so you get a fantastic look at when the nukes are being fired out. I've actually done a camp in this exact location with a viewing platform. If you want to take a look at it, the video is called Log Cabin Tutorial. It may give you some ideas, but aye, this is a pretty cool area. It's a massive place with lots of different locations to suit lots of different styles of builds. This next one is something a little bit different. It's not your normal kind of camp build location. It's just near Slocum's Jaw, as you can see on the map. It's a billboard. Now, bear with me. I know you're saying, what the hell are you showing me this for? But I have seen some amazing camps built on billboards. I actually saw somebody who built a new Coca-Cola museum. It was absolutely fucking fantastic. I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of billboards scattered around Appalachia, but I think this is the best one and it's in a low risk area. You're not going to have a scorch bees flying down ruining your day. There is a group of enemies nearby, well two actually, and they tend to engage in gang warfare around Slocum's jaw. It's not a preset group so it's not always going to be mutants versus robots for example. It will vary, but you just leave them to it and they're happy just shooting at each other. But as I say, it's not a normal location, it's quite unusual. But I find that some of the best builds are made in these really random areas. you just got to use your brain a little bit. This one isn't as good as it used to be, but it's still worth building here. Especially during meat week. It's just across from the Moonshiner's Shack. It's a pretty cool little body of water. Now... Back in the day, you used to be able to build right up to the cliff wall and get your camp nestled in it. But for some reason, Bethesda changed it, so now you can't build your camp really close to that cliff wall. You have to build it on the opposite bank of the lake. However, it's still a pretty sweet location. It's in the forest, which is the best area in the game. Convince me otherwise down in the comments if you can. You've got an NPC, and they do bring life to a camp. 
Unless you're like me and you shoot them on sight, then they bring death to a camp. Either or is fine. Now this location was an absolute beast when the game first came out. It's just near the South Mountain Lookout and it's an old monorail tower. Apart from looking like an absolute boss, this thing is totally unique. I don't think there's another tower you can build in like this in the whole of Appalachia. I could be wrong though and if I am, let me know down in the comments. It's got its own little junk resource as well, as you can see here. With a little bit of jiggery-pokery, you can actually build inside of the structure itself. Although, it is a little bit cramped and space is limited. Enemies-wise, there is quite a few little buggers that spawn around here, but nothing that you won't be able to handle. You've got some decent views of the mountains behind you, and of course, you've got an absolutely fantastic view of Watoga, and you can actually see the nukes being dropped on Cranberry Bog. Like I say guys, back in the day, this place was where everybody built. There is countless videos on YouTube showing what kind of things can be done here. So just take a ganders, I'm sure you'll find something for some inspiration. Anyway guys, that is it from me. It's nice to be back in Fallout, I'm not going to lie to you. I hope you found this video useful and it'll help you choose a new camp location when the slots are released this week. I'll catch you in the next one and have fun.